Hello, this is Tim from Geekly here for another gameplay video. This time, Prime Defenders. It's a tower defense style game set in uh, the world of Prime. Or that's the Magic Ooze. I'm not sure which. Anyways, it's a desktop style tower defense game where you build up a collection of strong towers, magic, and artifacts and use them to either mix together to create even stronger towers or to fight bad guys. There's also a bit of, you know, light RPG mechanics involved here, so what I can do is get some, uh, you know, increase the maximum limit of cards in my collection. I don't know what that does, but maybe I can do that. Uh, or I could increase the tower damage by 5%. Let's do that. That sounds great. So now, I think I'll go ahead and show you a little bit of the gameplay. I've only been playing it for about five levels. Maybe, maybe an hour and a half. I don't know. I doubt that. I don't understand all of the mechanics so far, but I think I'll show you a little bit how this one goes by replaying the library level, because I've already done it, and I know how to beat it. I've lost it a few times, and then I'll be embarrassed if I lose we right now. Look out! The Here's first the wave of is story happening. It's basically that there's monsters, right? And you gotta stop them, right? They are, um, I guess you'd call them mutants of some sort, because heck, they're a uh, all about just rampaging through your little uh, little world here, and uh, it's hard to really describe why they're like this. But essentially, the idea is: hey, you have monsters. These monsters are bad. You should kill them. It's supposed to be because of the magic goo called Prime has infected them, but I don't even know. The they just like kobolds and scary minor creatures. And I can go ahead and swivel the action around here. Or I can zoom in real close to those satyrs. So after the cataclysm of some sort happened, medieval uh, creatures came about. I guess it's sort of like your classic, oops, we messed up the world and the goo monsters are here to kill us story. You know, that old chestnut. Rangers and what I'm doing right here is actually changing the, the path of each of the bats. people. I'll oh, make it go a little bit quicker because it's me. Oh no, I forgot to go that way. I've made a terrible mistake. The touch door approaching! Denied. Throw some magic down on people. So they're cursed, so you can add bits of magic along with your towers to create a little more um, diversity in your strategies here. Instead of just having a million different towers, you can have towers that you use for magic. And really, the fun comes from finding the great combos and build orders and things like that. I guess one of the bigger problems so far is that if you mess up and maybe, I don't know, let's say accidentally build your guys we have a wrench. in the wrong way, then you're like, uh, I'm screwed. Well, this is fun. And now you have, instead of just like rewinding it back a little bit that some tower defense games do, or just find another to win, you just lose and you have to wait for it to restart, which isn't always much fun, so, let's get all these guys cursed, uh oh, uh, uh, so, oh yeah, see there we go, I was going too fast and now uh, my strategies got ruined, but, you know, I don't have to do it perfect, this is more to show how the game works. And it does get stressful. Because all these little guys are running at you so quickly and it's hard to 
gauge, do you know just which tower should I use? Should I get another poison tower? Should I build this flame tower right here? I don't even know. I'm freaking out. There has been a little, um... Some hitches as I played. A little, uh, skipping. Just did it right there. I don't know why. I think the game gets overwhelmed sometimes. And, uh, what can you do? It's, I think they've been updating and releasing patches, so it's barely noticeable for the most part, so I don't really mind, to be honest. Let's build this uh, dragon tower right here. Since I haven't used magic for a while, I'll see if I can just curse these fellows. And they're going here yeah, my prime reactor is still prime. I wish they would do that. Primes are money. Primes are magic. Prime, uh, you know, keeps everything running smoothly. We got a good variety of different medieval monsters. We got some kobolds. We got some satyrs. These are some trolls. Trolls with crazy backs full of mushrooms. You know, standard. I don't think I should have built this dragon tower. <laughs> Strategy. What can you do? But now, as these guys run back, they'll grab my thing. They have to get through this death gauntlet, which it's not looking good for these fellows. But there's also achievements for each level. There's you know, scoring, there's ways to fight your friends and be like, hey, I got a million points in this level. You did not. I am the best. A little bit of friendly rivalry is what, you know, America needs at a time like this. So there it is. I did it. I defended. My prime world defended. Defended the prime world. I didn't do very good. I think see there's extra achievements I could have done, but I was like, eh. Oh, I should have done without the magic, I could have done it. It's a shame. Alright, and that is I guess the first little introduction. I'll go ahead and show you what the game is like after I've played it for longer and have a better sense of how things work together, how the forge and the collection and the, the store here works. But right now I have a pretty strong feeling I'll be able to buy with real money some sort of uh, stars or silver and that makes me nervous but I bet it's gonna happen don't quote me maybe it won't then I'll be happy but all right all right welcome back this is the I guess you'd say second part of the look at prime world defenders see if you know it is worth your time I've put in several more hours uh, since last time you, since uh, the beginning of the video, I guess you'd say, as the brief interlude. And beaten several more levels, got new towers, all that stuff, and I'm happy to say the game's pretty fun. It's a, uh, I don't know, it's a little grindy, maybe, sometimes, but as you can see here, I have a lot more towers, and I know a little bit more about how this works. So you can, like, fuse these cards together and level them up. See here, my poison tower is level 5. That means it does a little more damage. And since I fused one poison tower with another poison tower, I can level up to level two. And it's pretty, pretty uh, straightforward in that sense. But each of the towers sort of have a strength and a weakness, and now they're introducing a lot more, I guess, a variety of uh, monsters. And they've introduced this idea of beat a level, go on, and you can do either an easy mission or a hard mission or a medium mission to get different rewards. So more coins, more uh, loot, and uh, experience points. It's uh, it's pretty, so far, so good. Uh, let's jump into this. I don't know if I can do this yet. It might be too hard and I'll probably lose. So I'm gonna try to change up my composition here because I don't need any, how you say, uh, my anti-flying towers. Let's go see what happens. All right, I think I'm gonna fight a boss here. I'll probably be embarrassed. Okay, there's been more bosses. There's been 
just want more story. It's been uh, it's been a trial to say the least. So let's put that guy there. Let's pause it and uh, oh, I can't delete any towers. So this should be interesting. When those vines come up, that means the bad guy is doing something weird. So put that there. I'll put another one here to get the entire zone. That's there. Let's put a slowing tower. Let's put one of these guys to hurt them and reduce their defenses. And let's see what happens. I have no idea. The battle. This might be awkward. Okay, here comes some sort of terrifying new boss, the Bronorog. Oh my gosh. He regenerates health every second. That's going to be pretty inconvenient to say the least. Let's level up this little one. Okay, and as I destroy these little guys here, uh, I get more money, which is no goal. This down. Add a little magic to the mix. I've got a gift for you, monsters. If this works in anything like the last boss I fought. It's good to just use your magics as much as possible. Hmm. Hopefully, he has to walk all the way back. Else, this could get awkward. It just has to get here and it's done. Oops. Oh gosh. He sure is plotting. I'm not shooting right him right on now. Target. Did I lose? I might have lost. Did I lose? I lost. Okay. Good. That was a good first try. Let's try it again. Still want that. I'll put them more in a less frontal cone, which is what I normally do. I still want this guy up here just raining down that terrible pain. Uh, here, yeah. Let's start with the poison up here. Poison right here. Slow guy right here. Right. Magic more often. Magic more often, huh? Even though I just started. Okay. Yeah, the uh, incidental dialogue that the side characters say is pretty terrible. Now I have enough to level up my towers, start to do some real damage with some of them. I'm doing enough to kill him? This might be potentially awkward. These guys right here just give me money. Oh god, and I can't sell anything this time. Can I do it? Oh, okay. He almost fell down. It's awkward. Oh, I think I got this one. Oh, yes, yes. And see, just like that, a boss battle. Hopefully there's some sort of weird RP dialogue. No? Just that, just attacked by a random guy. Alright. Boom, three stars, new record. I did not get any achievements, but hey. Uh, what, a stone tower? I don't even know what that is. Okay. Okay, I got it. Ooh, three stars. That's nice. Sign of strength. These help you with your fusing, because when you fuse two cards together, they uh. These touched monsters Ooh. just won't let up. We need a new base, a new haven. 
That's your character. Somewhere they can't find us. He's grizzled. I think I know a good place. A secure and ancient valley hidden Ooh. from the cliffs. And the only way to get there is a passage through a waterfall. Okay, so sounds good. That's a perfect spot for a base. Damn. Glad you approve. There's only one problem. This place is inhabited by the touched. And they won't take too kindly the bunny to our creature. presence. We'll give them what they deserve. Defenders, ahead to our new home. Alright. That, that was stirring. I think I'm ready to reclaim this new land that I just found right here. So I think the story is going to probably loop all the way down back to here, I'd assume. So I don't even know if I'm halfway through. I'll show you how the uh, forging works. I can either A, evolve two cards together. Uh, I don't think I have anything I can do. Yeah. For evolution, you need two of each. Um, but for forging, it's a little bit easier. So I can take this detector, which is a good card because it sees invisible guys. I can throw on this sign of strength, which doubles the amount of things I get. And it's helped me level them up. Let's, and then you just pay a nominal fee. And then it's just like that. Pretty great. Also, here's a story. They have not added in a way to buy stuff, which is good. Uh, buy stuff with real money. But I can you know, buy this wind symbol f for good. Or I can buy this artifact set, which I think I want. So yeah, just right there. A thousand gold. Look at these great artifacts. Perfect. Or I can uh, do a king's chest, which is for one star, which gives me a choice of all these. But it's random. Another detector card. Perfect. Um, and I'm a higher level, so I got much more talents. But I don't have enough money to get them. I don't like all of them anyways, per se. I can have a total of 25 cards, and so far that's been enough. But yeah, I think all in all, this gives you a good idea of how uh, Prime World Defenders works, and uh, it's only $15, so I know uh, price kind of shouldn't necessarily figure in, because you should be playing games that are worth your time. But uh, as far as a, you know, just something to throw on as you listen to podcasts, uh, or if you just need a new d uh, dungeon tower defense type game, then this will do it. Alright, thanks for watching.